Okay, today we're going to talk about the danger of convenience, but uh, before we get started, I want to read an article here, just real quickly, just another thing against 501c3 churches. Uh, it's an article called, Turn in Your Guns at Your Local Church. I'm just going to read the first paragraph here. It says, Last weekend, the Chicago Police Department collaborated with over 20 local churches in a giant effort to encourage Chicagoans to, quote, get guns out of their homes. WBBM News Radio has the story. Quote, Using the lure of $100 gift cards, the Chicago, Chicago Police Department is encouraging people to get guns out of their homes and turn them in this Saturday during the annual gun turn-in program. The thing that's interesting about this, it goes on in the article to talk about it, but in Chicago, you're not allowed to legally carry a gun on the streets. So it's like, okay, if you have a gun in your home, you have to break the law to get the gun to the police to turn it in. It's kind of like, yeah, okay. But why are churches being used as the centers for gun confiscation? Or gun turnings, excuse me. It's not forced yet. I just want to read the list of churches here that are that participated in this. In the northern part of Chicago, you have United Church of Rogers Park. That sounds real spiritual. Uptown Baptist Church. In the west, you have Heritage International Christian Church, Truth and Deliverance International Ministries, Mount Vernon Baptist Church, Corinthians Temple Kajik, okay, Chicago Islamic Center, Muslims and Baptists working together to help get guns off the streets, keep reading here, Douglas Park Baptist Church, St. Agnes of Bohemia Catholic Church, Muslims, Catholics, Baptists, and non-denominational Christians all working together. Greater Harvest, oh, this is in the south now, Greater Harvest MB Church, I'm not sure what MB would be, Uh, First Church of Deliverance, New Beginnings Church, Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church, St. Sabina Church, sounds like another Catholic church, Trinity All Nations Church, Bethlehem Star MB Church, New Visions of Faith Ministries, Immaculate Conception Parish, it's kind of obvious what that one is, another Catholic, New Life Covenant Church, Greater Salem Baptist Church, Liberation Christian Center, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah, I love that one. Greater Institutional AME Church. So those are your churches that participated in with the police to take away people's Second Amendment rights. Very interesting.